Greetings to you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we are reading Deuteronomy chapter 4. As we read and meditate this chapter, may the Lord speak to each one of our hearts and minds. This chapter can be divided into three sections. Section 1 speaks about the idolatry is to be prohibited. Section 2, the Lord is the only God to to be served. And uh, section 3, about the cities is cities of refuge. In this chapter, Moses tells that Israelites had degrees and laws from God that is going to teach them. He tells them not to add or subtract them and uh, reminds them that God destroyed all of the people at Baal Peor and that Israelites were alive because they had believed in the Lord. He tells them that they had to teach these things to the children and upcoming generations of these degrees and laws and he then reminds of them Ten Commandments. The next point we see idolatry is to be prohibited. He tells them of the day that the Lord spoke to them from the fire, from the fire of Horeb that to be careful to uh, be uh, to avoid having uh, uh, idols. They were to also supposed to refrain them having images that they worship. Uh, Moses tells them he will pass away in this land and he will not cross over the Jordan but he reminds them after they cross over they have to always remember God's covenant. Moses going goes on to say that uh, after many generations of the living on the land if they make any type of idol or do any type of evil they will get a uh, uh, anger of god they will not reside there long because god will scatter them across various nations if they do this type of sins moses told them that uh, the god is so merciful and would remember the covenant that was made in with their ancestors the next point we see about the cities of refuge moses told them that there are three cities on the eastern side of Jordan had been set for the people that had killed someone accidentally and they could receive a fair judgment uh, in that from that uh, cities uh, the cities were uh, Bezer which was for Drubenite clan Ramoth in Gilead which was for Gadite clan and uh, Golan in Bashan which is for Manasseh clan some of the notes listed here was one it says o israel listen Moses called the people to hear and obey the rules of conduct that God had given to them to observe. Successful contest and full enjoyment of life in the land was based on submission to God's law. The second word we see the phrase the statutes and the judgments. The first uh, or permanent rules for conduct fixed by the uh, reigning authority while the second uh, deal with the judicial decisions which serve as a precedent for uh, future guidance. Verse six, we see the phrase "the people." The word "people," Israel's obedience to God's law, would provide a testimony to the world that God was near to His people and that His laws were righteous. One purpose of the law was to make Israel morally and spiritually unique among all the nations, and therefore draw those nations to the true and the living God. They were to, they were from their beginnings to be a witness nation. Though they failed and have been temporarily set aside, the prophets reveal that in future kingdom of Messiah they will be a nation of faithful witness. A phrase again we see a wise and understanding people. The nations would see three things in Israel. Firstly, the Israel would know how to apply God's knowledge so as to have discernment and to, and to be able to judge matters accurately. Secondly, faithfulness to the Lord would allow the nations to see that Lord had established intimacy with uh, Israel. And thirdly, we see the nations uh, would see that Israel's law was distinctive, for its source was the Lord, indicating that the character of the Lord is righteous. Was nine to thirty-one. We see this section carries the most basic lessons for Israel to learn to fear and reverence God. From nine, was we see the phrase "teach them to your children." Was ten, we see the phrase especially concerning the day. The day as was the day where Israel faced the presence of God at the place Horeb. And was twelve. We see the word "no form." Israel was to remember God and reveal Him Himself at Mount Sinai. His presence came through His voice, the sound of His words. They did not see Him, which rules out any idolatrous, uh, uh, idolatrous representation of God in any physical form. And verse thirteen, we see the word, the Ten Commandments, uh, from which comes from uh, Decalogue. These summarize and epitomize uh, all commandments uh, the Lord gave to Israel through Moses. 
verse 15 to 19, we see the strong emphasis is made on the commandments of uh, 1 and 2. Verse 20, we see the phrase, the iron furnace, uh, a fire was used to heat iron as sufficiently to be hammered into different shapes or welded to other objects. The iron furnace here suggests that uh, Israel's time in, in Egypt was a period of uh, testing, purifying uh, for uh, Hebrews, readying them for usefulness as God's witness nation. Verse 24, we see the phrase, a jealous God. God is jealous to protect what belongs to him. Therefore, he will not allow any other to have the honor that is due him alone. Verse 25 to 31, we see in this section briefly outlines the future judgment of Israel, which culminated in the ten northern tribes bring, being exiled to Assyria and two southern tribes being deported to Babylon. Although the Jews returned in the days of uh, Ezra and Nehemiah, they never regained their uh, dominance. Thus, the days of uh, promised restoration and uh, return uh, look forward to Messiah's return to set up millennial kingdom. And we see the verse t in 27, the phrase, the Lord will scatter you. Verse 30, the later days. In 31, the covenant of your fathers. Verse 30 to 40, we see a historical apologetic uh, uh, appealing for the nation's obedience to God's law. Verse 32 to 39, we see the phrase, since the day that God created man on the earth. In all of the humanity history, no other nation had the privilege that Israel had of hearing God speak as he did giving the law at Mount Sinai and surviving such awesome uh, presence, experience. No other had, no other, nor had any other people been so blessed, chosen and delivered from the bondage by such mighty miracles as Israel saw. God did this to reveal to them that uh, he alone is God. Verse 37, is, we see the word his presence literally means his face. God himself had uh, brought Israel out of Egypt. The exodus resulted from the uh, electing love that God had uh, for the ancestors and their descendants. In the next section we see the address given by Moses, the stipulation of uh, the Sinai, Sinaitic uh, covenant. For verse 44 to 20, chapter 28, we see the heart of Deuteronomy is found in this long second speech of Moses. The, the phrase, now this is the law, which Moses explained to Israel. Of a brief introduction, Moses gave the people a clear understanding of what the law directed concerning their relationship with God in the land. Then Moses concluded by recounting the blessings or the curses which would uh, come upon nation as a consequence of their response to the stipulation of this law uh, which was given to them. Verse 45, we see the words testimonies, statutes, judgments and uh, these three are given to them. The first one, the testimonies, the basic uh, covenant stipulations. Second, the statutes, words that are inscribed uh, and therefore fixed. Thirdly, we see the judgments, the decisions made by the judge on the merits of the situation. This law was given to Israel when they came out of Egypt. Moses is not giving further law. He is now explaining what was already given. given. The next slide we see the purpose and passion. Moses' speech encourages the people to realize their purpose and calling. This great leader reminds his countrymen of God's faithfulness provision and imparts them to sense of destiny. When leaders project passion for their vision, they create an atmosphere of expectancy among the people. Moses often created at least three such atmosphere for the Jews. Firstly, a sense of destiny. Second, a sense of family. Thirdly, a militant spirit. In the first, we see the sense of destiny. Moses communicated a sense of God's call on the fu Israel's future, a future they were destined to fulfill. Secondly, sense of family. Moses convinced the people they would enter the land together. Cooperatively, they could accomplish the vision. Thirdly, a militant spirit. Moses called the Israelites to do whatever it took to enter the land. They needed to pay the price to get the job done. The next slide we see eight Hebrew words for the law. Hebrew laws served as a personal and national guide for living under God's authority. It directed the people's moral, spiritual, and social life. Its purpose was to produce better understanding of God and greater commitment to Him. The first word, Torah, meaning direction, guidance, and instruction. Second word, Mitzvah, meaning commandment, command. Thirdly, third word, Misfat, meaning judgment, ordinance, regulation. 
फोर्थ एडुत मीनिंग एडमोनिशन टेस्टमनी ट्रूथ फिफ्थ हकीम मीनिंग स्टैचूट्स ओराकल्स लॉस एंड सिक्स वन मीनिंग ऑर्डर्स परसेप्स एंड कमांडमेंट्स सेवेंथ वन टैबार मीनिंग वर्ड्स टर्म्स द लास्ट वर्ड एथ वर्ड डैथ मीनिंग रॉयल एडिक्ट पब्लिक लॉ and all these uh, examples were given with the references and the significance we can go through this slide little bit more in this slide we see the important commands in Deuteronomy the book of Deuteronomy actually consists of three sermons preached by Moses to the Israelites on the plains of uh, Moab just to prior to conquest of uh, Canaan this chart that follows examines some of the most important commands in Moses sermon the first one the column says hebrew word and the second columns its meaning third column depicts the number of occurrences and the fourth one is a key verse in the book and we see the first one ra meaning see observe consider give attention and to behold the second word zakhir remember recall keep in mind think of call to remind call to mind third word shamar diligently keep be of one god be careful fourth one debak hold fast cling cleave to remain with or close to stay near and the next word ahab means love be devoted be committed next one yara means fear treat with reverence or honor stand in awe of and the last one abad means serve work for perform acts for as a subject and there are number of uh, key verses in the scriptures references were given in the uh, right column This chart slide depicts uh, treaty formats and biblical covenants uh, listed in this uh, uh, slide. We can see highlighted in red color. We can go through its uh, description verses one by one. The first one is the introduction of a speaker, historical prologue, stipulations uh, concerning document, witness, uh, curses, and blessings. We can go through this slide more in detail. How can believing parents best influence their children to trust the Lord and live by his wisdom? Moses gives three suggestions. First one, be examples to your children. Secondly, don't let God's word slip from your minds and hearts. Thirdly, remember what the Lord has done for you in the past and share this experience with your children. Every Israelite child in Moses' day was supposed to know the story of Exodus. and in the future every child was supposed to know the significance of israel's crossing the jordan river it is the responsibility of older generation to instruct the younger generation and be an example and an encouragement to them parents must not uh, the sins of parents especially uh, spiritual neglect and bad example may be imitated by children and produces sad consequences later in life dear beloved as the lord is speaking through this chapter let's examine our hearts in the light of the word that we should always seek the lord and obey his commandments as the lord lord jesus christ said in the, in the john's gospel chapter 15 if you love me obey the, my commandments dear beloved as the lord is speaking through this chapter let's humble ourselves and uh, submit obedient to the lord with all his uh, with all our spirit and all mind and heart and follow him uh, whole trustfully May the Lord bless this short meditation in the edification of our spiritual lives and continue to speak the remaining chapters of this book uh, Deuteronomy amen